I've seen all your names in print, but I want to hear who you are, what year you are, what your major is. We'd love to get to know a little bit more about you. Okay. <laughs> so it's really a team effort, and the bottom line is we realize how serious the diagnosis is and how patients are real scared when they're first diagnosed. And our main goal, we might have been seeing it with our plaque and interest in the building, is really to give hope to our patients. And one way to do that is to reassure them that we can take good care of them. And we do that very quickly, so that day's time, the same day they're there, we can tell them the plan of treatment. Um, because the very first treatment plan is the most critical. And I know that sounds very extreme, but having watched both her mother and her sister pass away, she had two teenage children, and her motivation was to be around to raise her kids and to see them get married and to have their own families. Well, fortunately, when we did the genetic testing, she did not carry the mutation. And so we could tell her that despite the strong family history, she was not at increased risk. These are the kind of families that just make me love coming into work every day. Um, you know, typical day, I spend maybe 10, 11 hours, and I'm telling you, I blink my eyes and it's time to go home. So anyway, this is the picture of the leukemia that we discovered, and you can see how easy it is actually if you actually look at the blood smear because they all look the same, and they're called large granular lymphocytes because they're lymphocytes and they're big and they have this brain. And so this lab is like one of two on the campus that's designed to protect people, so it's really high safety level precautions because we think this leukemia might be caused by a new virus, and to work then on the cells where you think it might be involving a virus, um, for example, like HIV, you have to work in a lab like this. So there's a, a little room you go into and you dress up like you're an astronaut. And then you go into the lab to actually do the work. But yeah, you have, we have a special code to get in. Each person who is trained gets a special code. And when I go in there, oftentimes, sometimes folks will walk by and look go like this. And I kind of feel like going, okay, all right, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what I meant, all right. So like the, you know, like the, person behind the, the window or whatever. Anyway, um, there is a phone if you really want to communicate with people. Um, I don't, just, otherwise we do a lot of charades. And yeah, so far we haven't lost anyone. <laughs> so this is very important. This really distinguishes us a lot, in addition to all the basic science we're doing, from all the other cancer centers in the area. Um, we have very rigorous trials. We're investigating new therapies for patients with cancer. The way a drug gets approved for cancer, there's three test phases, one, two, and three. And we're one of the few places in the country, actually, that has both phase one and two trials. And that basically means that any new drug being developed by the National Cancer Institute, we can get access to that medication. Yeah. Yeah.